Today is Sunday, April 9, 2017, and this is a Tektronix 7603 100 MHz mainframe oscilloscope that I got at a ham fest yesterday. I got two of them, they're both not working. This one was tagged as a bad power supply, but um, that's not what the problem is. As is common in these scopes, all of the 7000 series, one of their biggest problems is tantalum capacitors. This is the vertical board, which I've removed. One of the problems with these scopes is they use tantalum capacitors that are basically used up to their maximum working voltage. The problem right here with this cap is a small tantalum here which I've already unsoldered and you can see it right here this is a bad tantalum very leaky pulling the current down which is the cause of the problem I'm going to replace that capacitor and then we'll give it a try and see what happens to isolate this I removed the power connector from the uh, power supply and uh, it removed the fault which led me to the vertical board which led me to this tantalum cap well it's working now two bad tantalum caps and a bad resistor and it came back to life so another one is salvaged. The problem here was on the vertical board as usual had two tantalum caps that went bad and one resistor that was burnt open. So now we got another working Tektronix 7603. My favorite Tektronix sculpts are the 7000 series. They're very well built. They're easy to fix and uh, lots of different plugins. Anyway, that's it. It is April 14th, 2017. This is the second Tektronix 7603 that I got at the Ham Fest. This one, lots of problems with it. Uh, it's missing. It's missing the display board which is missing here. The two really troublesome caps here, these three, these are one microfarad tantalum caps. They always go bad on these scopes. I also found uh, four bad caps here. These are on the interface board. On the power supply, the main caps look good, the main filter caps, so there's no problem. I didn't need to replace those. Now I have to get it all back together, get all the all the cabling back, and then we'll fire it up and see what happens. This was going to be a donor scope, but enough of it was working, I felt it was worth salvaging. The guy I bought it from said, I bought two of these. The guy I bought it from said this had a bad CRT, which is not true. It's got a good CRT in it. So that's why I thought it was worth repairing. So like all of these old old scopes, they get bad caps in them. Especially these tantalums. They're used, these are 1 microfarad 50 volt tantalums used in a 50 volt supply, which is just a recipe for failure. Anyway, that's the progress so far. Well, it's April 16, 2017, Easter Sunday, and the second Tektronix 7603 has come back to life. This one was a real bear. Bad power transistor on power supply had a bridge rectifier go out. Four capacitors on the interface board, three tantalum caps on the vertical board, and now it's working. I have to go through the calibration procedures and then this unit will be ready to use. So,
this power transistor was bad. Uh, we had a bad main capacitor in the power supply buried in here. I had to tear the whole power supply apart. I didn't have a 14,000 microfarad 25 volt capacitor, so I made one out of three 4,700 microfarad 25 volt caps in parallel. Uh, this cap was bad. Right here. An old, good old Mallory. Served its usefulness and now it's dead. Anyway, we had a bad power transistor. This is a 2M3055. And these uh, small electrolytics on the main interface board I had, let's see, uh, six of those. I had uh, four of these larger ones and two small ones. The smaller ones were nine microfarad. These are two, no, these were a hundred microfarad. And we had a bad, a bad bridge in the back of the power supply. Anyway, it's working. But it needs to be calibrated now. I've replaced enough parts. I have to go through the calibration. So another Tektronix 7603 is back to life. And uh, hopefully many more years of service. That is all.